Konnichiwa minna. Hello everybody. In this video, I want to talk about um, the newest season of Demon Slayer, or Kimitsu no Yaiba, um, that just um, ended, um, called the Swordsmith Arc. Um, now that the last episode has been posted, I think, yesterday, um, I want to give my opinion of the whole thing. Um, so if you guys would like to see more Demon Slayer videos from me, definitely subscribe down below. So, let's get started. So to start off, I really love the Swordsmith arc. It is amazing. I love Tanjiro as a character. I really like um, the new characters like Tokito and Genyo um, and the new one. Um, Ki Kiryoji? No. Koryoji? Um, a girl with the whip. <laughs> I was like, I apologize, guys. I forgot her name. And of course, I love Nezuko. Um, she's very kawaii. Um, so all the new characters are great. Um, I love the, the upper demon thing that Muzan is doing. Um, like one looks like a genie, which is super weird. Um, I think one looks like a bird. So there's a lot of them. And, um, in the backstories with, um, the new characters like Ganryo, like, um, like his mom like getting possessed by a demon and slaughtering all her um children minus Genryo and his brother and then his brother had to take his own mom out of here very very sad um backstories um like t t Tokito the new mist breathing um Hashirama um you know his backstory is pretty um sad too like I think his dad passed away from helping somebody and then his mom got extremely sick and she passed away and then you know and then his brother um passed away I think from a demon and his brother was kind of kind of like scolding Tokito like why are you so nice and all this other stuff so yeah just crazy probably the only like calmest backstory ever is Koryoji. I think that's that woman's name. I apologize guys if I mispronounce her name, but the girl with the whip. Um her backstory is pretty calm actually. Like her only issue is just self esteem. You know, that's why um her natural hair color is basically like pink and green and then she basically like dyed her hair just so she could fit in because she's not not a typical girl so yeah all her her issue is is a self-esteem issue um but both her parents are still alive um she has great parents so i was not expecting that turn because all of these new characters backstories is always um heartache and pain and travesty and hers is pretty calm which i did not expect that and the final episode just amazing 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 final episode um yeah yeah just really really amazing of Tanjiro um slicing off you know the last head of the upper demons and then I was watching the episode and then when we see the sun come up because the bad thing about demons is is that once the sun rises that's when the demons passed away unless you're Nezuko because we see her like dying and stuff and then Tanjiro is kind of like being put in this predicament where it's either I save my sister or these villagers were being um, chased by this demon that Tanjiro chopped the head off but he did not die and then Tanjiro found out, oh, we have to strike at his heart. And Tanjiro went to go strike after his heart. So basically, um, Tanjiro, um, my first impression when I first watched it, that, oh, Tanjiro sacrificed his sister's life just to save these people. And then we find out that Nezuko is alive. I was, like, so happy. I was so, so happy. Um, yeah, that that just made my day like that Nezuko survived that being a demon 
Um, it's just incredible. And yeah, really, really fun, fun ending to see because I was worried there for a second. And then we get the backstory with Muzan, which is cool because we really don't know much about Muzan. All we know is that he slaughtered Tanjiro's family, except for Nezuko. Um, and that all of his servants, he treats his servants very badly. Like, seriously. It's like we see, like, these two women, like, serving Muzan. And basically, Mu Muzan just chops both their heads off. Because he doesn't care. And, yeah. Just crazy. So we get a backstory with him. Basically, um... Muzan was like a sickly man, um, and he was about to die young. Um, like anyway, until he met this doctor that was able, um, and the doctor was able to give him an elixir to kind of like extend his lifespan. And then he just like stabs the the doctor in the back of the head, and I'm like, yeah, let's. Let's kill the doctor that saved your life. And it's like, not only Muzan is a cold-hearted um, person, he just, you know, yeah, he's not smart either. He's just not smart at all. Like, it then co come to find out that, oh, the elixir is working, the elixir is extending my life. And then he goes off to find doctors and he fails. Um, to create this elixir to extend his life even more. Well, you would have had a doctor if you didn't stab him in the back of the head, you jerk. Is basically what I was thinking. And then that's why um, Muzan is after um, Tanjiro's sister, Hezuko. Um, because she can survive sunlight now. So her being a demon... You know, like it doesn't matter if it's um, daylight or nighttime, um, she's still good. And Muzan is kind of jealous about that because that's why Muzan is after her, wants to take her blood um, and like absorb her because he wants to be like the godly demon. He just wants to be the most perfect demon. So he has a god complex um, for sure. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this review of the Swordsmith arc. Um, I really did, like, enjoy this arc a lot. Um, it was a lot of fun to watch, and, yeah, I just really, really loved it. And can't wait for the, um, Hashirama arc, because I think that's the next arc, the Har um, the Harashima arc. So we're probably going to get more about Tanjiro. We're probably going to get more about Tokito, the mist-breathing um, guy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, guys. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think about the newest arc that just concluded. The Swordsmith arc down below. And also, as a reminder, I will be doing a live stream opening this on my second channel. I'm bringing in frame. I'll show you the back too. So I will be opening this um, on my second channel this Friday, June 23rd at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time um, to remind you um, if you guys would like to see that live stream. So yeah guys, um, comment, like, and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Matane!